Hello students, welcome to my channel Hans Commerce Tutorial for the lectures on Commerce Accounts, Finance and Management. My suggestion to you, before watching the video, please go to the description below my video. You will find a link there. Take a printout of the problems given in the link and keep it ready before watching the video so that you can be able to understand the problem, the solution and the explanation to get the maximum benefit from the lectures. Thank you. So far we have completed 14 problems. Now we are in the 15th problem. So take out the problem number 15. Now I'm reading out. The price quotations of four different commodities for 1980 and 1985 are given below. So calculate the index number for 1985 with 1980 as base by using simple average of price relatives and weighted average of price relatives. Commodities are given A, B, C, D. Weights are given 5, 7, 6, 2. And 1985 prices are given, 1980 prices are given. So 1980 prices are the base year, P, O. And 1985 prices are the current year price, P, 1. And weights are given. So we have to apply simple average as well as weighted average of price relative and price relative ka matlab p1 by po into 100 for every item it's very simple calculation of price index by simple average of price relatives and weighted average of price relatives both so first commodities are given in the problem prices of 1980 base year po given in the problem price of 1985 p1 given in the problem weights are given now we are calculating price relative okay method price relative method both simple and weighted so first we calculate price relative. Price relative means percentage of current year price over base year price. So P1 by PO into 100. 4.5 divided by 2 into 100. You will get 225. 3.2 divided by 2.5 into 100. 4.5 divided by 3 into 100. You will get price relative. This is P. Capital P. Now one more column PW. Multiply P with the W. This price relative with weight. You have 5 into 225. 7 into 128, 6 into 150, 2 into 180, take the total. Summation PW 3281, summation P, price relative car total 683 and summation of weight 20. Now two methods we have to apply, simple average and weighted average. First we calculate simple average. So price index by simple average of price relative. The formula is summation P by N, remember already in the beginning in the beginning starting problems we have done this simple average of price relative take the total of price relative summation p divided by n n come up how many items do we have here four items a b c d so summation p by n 483 divided by 4 170.7 this is the price index according to simple average of price relative now weighted average price index as per weighted average of price relative p o 1 summation p w divided by summation w p w is here 3281 divided by 20. Summation W is 20. 3281 divided by 20, 164.05. That's all. This is the price index according to simple average of price relatives and weighted average of price relatives. Next, problem number 16. See the 16th one. <clears throat> Calculate price index from the following data by taking 1985 is equal to 100. 1985 is equal to 100 means 1985 is the base. By uh, weighted average of price relatives, only one method we have to follow. Previous problem we have applied both simple average and weighted average. Here we have to apply only weighted average. Commodities are given A, B, C, D, E, five commodities. Prices in 1985 and quantity in 1985, then prices in 1986. So 1986 ke prices, current year, 1985 ke prices, base year. And quantity of 1985 is given, this will take it as weight. And we have to calculate weighted index. So calculation of price index by weighted average of price relative method. Commodities are given, 1985 is the base year prices, 1986 is the current year prices. And quantity of 1985 will take it as weights. Weights are given. Now we calculate the price relative just like the previous problem. P1 divided by PO into 100, 25 by 20 into 100, 125, 12 by 10 into 100. 18 by 12 into 100, we got price relative. Now multiply P into W. This is P, this is W. Multiply 125 into 2, 120 into 3, 150 into 5, 
take the total 2320. 2320 is summation PW and summation of W is 21. So we substitute in the formula price index by weighted average of price relative. Summation PW divided by summation W 2320 divided by 21. You will get 110.48. That's all. This is the price index according to weighted average of price relative method. Now, 17th problem. Problem number 17, you see. <clears throat> the price quotations of five commodities are given below. Calculate the index number of the current year by using simple average of price relative and weighted average of price relative method. Just now we have seen the problem. In one problem, we have to apply both simple average as well as weighted average of price relative. Commodities are A, B, C, D, E. Weights are given 4, 6, 5, 3, 2. Prices in 2003, prices in 2002. So 2002 prices are the base year and 2003 is the current year prices. See, exactly similar. This type of problems are frequently asked in examination. So calculation of price index by simple average and weighted average. Commodities A, B, C, D, E. Prices of 2002, base year P, O. And price of 2003, P, 1. Weights are given in the problem. First, we calculate price relative P1 by PO into 100 for every item. For every item, we calculate P1 by PO. Then multiply P into W, we get PW. Take the total of PW, total of P, weight, and N is equal to 5. Price index by simple average of price relative PO1 is equal to summation P by N. So 632.04 divided by 5. 126.41 this is the price index according to simple average of price rate now weighted average of price rate price index by weighted average of price rate summation pw divided by summation w pw how much 2482.05 divided by 20 124.10 that's all so we have completed 17 problems come on straight now we'll start the next problem problem number 18 see the 18th problem Calculate quantity index. So first time we are going to calculate quantity index. So far we have calculated price index. The so quantity index we have to calculate to the following data as per Kelly's method. The so values are given PO, QO, P1, Q1. Price of base year, quantity of base year. Price of current year, quantity of base year. So here for Kelly's method, we require the average price. Price will be taken as weight because we are calculating quantity index when we calculate quantity index the weight will be taken as price but here the prices are given base year price current year price separately so we calculate the average price so according to kelly the weights are the prices so we take the average of the prices so we have taken the average price base year price 10 current year price 14 divided by 2 12 is the average price Second one, 12, 15 divided by 2, 13.5, 16.5, 16.5, 17. These are the average prices. And average price will be taken as weight. Because we are calculating quantity index. Now, QO, the quantity of base year. Q1, quantity of current year. And average price, P. So for calculating the quantity index as per Kelly's method, the formula is QO1. Quantity index of current year compared to base year, Kelly. Summation Q1 by Q. Summation Q1, current year quantity divided by base year quantity into P. P is the average price. P is the average price. So first we need Q1, P. Q1, P. So multiply Q1 into P. 8 into 12. 8 into 13.5. 9 into 16.5. 7 into 16. Like this we have calculated Q1, P. Similarly, Q, O, P. This is Q or this is P. Multiply 6 into 12, 72. 7 into 13.5, like this. So we got Q1 P, we got Q O P. Substitute in the formula 570 divided by 566 into 100. 100.71 is the quantity index as per Kelly's method. This is the first problem on quantity index. Next, problem number 19. Compute the Fisher's index formula, the quantity index number from the data given below. Again, we have to calculate quantity index Q01 by applying Fisher's formula. So here commodities are ABC, base year price is given and total value is given. Base year price and total value. So by using this, we can find out the quantity. The previous problem also, when quantity is not given, total expenditure divided by price. Total expenditure divided by price, you will get the quantity. Here also total value divided by price. 
we will get quantity so it is 100, uh, 10 rupees price 10 rupees total value 100 so 100 divided by 10 is 10 is the quantity secondly 96 is the total value whereas uh, price is 16 so 96 divided by 16 will get the quantity like this we have calculated the quantity for base year as well as current year now see here. calculation of quantity index number by fisher's formula commodity abc base year current year base year price is given in the problem 10 16 12 base year quantity qo is not given in the problem we have calculated the total value divided by price will get quantity total value divided by price will get the quantity current year also p1 is values are given q1 values are not given we have calculated total value divided by price so once we get this one same four columns will open p o q o p o q o p1 q1 then p1 q o and p o q1 four columns as usual we have calculated we have calculated the total now quantity index as per fisher's formula fisher's formula we apply to calculate the quantity index so q o1 fisher is equal to summation q1 by q o see here what is the difference between price index and quantity index we are changing q in place of p pehle price index malum karte hain jo p1 by p o liye the ab q1 by q o lenge to q1 by q o quantity index we are calculating it will be multiplied by base year price base year price for last year and past year ke liye q1 by q o into current year price p1 so simply we are changing Q in place of P, P in place of Q. P ki jaga par Q, Q ki jaga par P substitute kar denge. So we can be easily convert the price index into quantity index. Now P O Q1, P O Q1 is here 280. And P O Q O, P O Q O 232. Similarly P1 Q1 234. P1 Q O, this one 194. Ye dono ko multiply karo. 1280 divided by 232 into 234 divided by 194 you are getting this one under root root nikal ke baad 1.20654 into 100 120.65 this is the quantity index as per fisher's model as per fisher's model and quantity is equal to total value divided by price total value divided by price that's all so we have completed 19 problems start the last problem 20th problem number 20 the following figures relate to the prices and quantities of certain commodities prices and quantities are given and using Kelly's method can construct an index number by using Kelly's method we have to construct the index number so when nothing is mentioned whether it is price index or quantity index we always assume it is price index because most frequently we calculate price index so here nothing is mentioned so we calculate price index according to Kelly's method commodities are A, B, C, D, E five commodities are given quantity consumed according to Kelly method the quantity will be fixed fixed quantities will take for base year as well as current year so price year in 1980 price in 1985 1980 prices are base year prices and 1985 prices are the current year prices so base year prices are denoted as PO and current year prices are denoted as P1 and quantities will be denoted as Q right so here calculation of price index by Kelly's method commodities are given in the problem prices of 1980 base year prices price of 1985 1985 current year prices P1 and quantity consumed fixed quantity this quantity is not related either to base year or current year it's a fixed quantity next we multiply P1 into Q, so P1 into Q, 40 into 50, 2000, 42 into 35, this one. Then POQ, PO into Q, 32 into 50, 1600, 30 into 35, 1050. Now take the total of POQ, total, total of P1Q. Now price index as per Kelly's method, PO1K is equal to P, summation P1 by PO. Summation P1 by PO, this will be multiplied with Q fixed quantities so p1q divided by poq 7760 divided by 5855 into 100 132.54 this is the end of the problem number 20 so 
in this 20 problems we have seen how to calculate the price index and quantity index according to different methods so broadly we divide into unweighted and weighted under unweighted method again simple aggregative method and simple average of price relative starting problems we have done then weighted method under weighted method again we have two categories called weighted aggregative method under weighted aggregative method all the methods comes last pier method pastures method fisher method kelly method marshall edgeworth method etc all these methods will come under weighted aggregative method then we have weighted average of price relative method so all the problems we have done on all these four methods next uh, video i am starting the next concept in this index number called test of consistency some tests are there which are applied to see the consistency of the given formula the formula will be last year's formula passages or fishers whether this is consistent or not that problem will do it in the next video